Okay, welcome back guys. Part two of Residence and back with Ed and the homeless man. <laughs> we'll go ask him um, why it's all red. Sir, wake up. There's been some problem with the train. Hello? Guess he'll be fine until the help arrives. In fact, he probably won't even notice. Okay, well, enough with you. I don't think peeling a poster off the wall is going to help me. I don't know, Ed. Okay, I guess let's go try the door, see if we can get out this way. Oh, look at the jellyfish. <laughs> That's as far as I can force it. Not nearly wide enough for me to fit through. I need a crowbar. Okay, well, let's see what's this way. Nothing. Yeah. There's some litter. No? Okay, fine then, Ed. No need to get all snooty. Okay. Um. Oh, he's got booze. Take the booze. Um, wake up. No, we, Hello? No, we don't care about the homeless man, Ed. We already talked to him. We want the booze. Where's the booze? There. Oh, oh, booze. There we go. I absolutely do not want that. God, Ed, you're such a prick. Oh my god, Ed. Okay, well. What in the world? What do I have in my inventory? And there's a lucky coin. What's this? I'm going to this my oh, shirt okay, and destroy But red the potato. Okay. I see. Hmm. Smelly, drunk, and asleep. It's the American dream. Let's see. Opening only a few inches, not nearly enough for me to get through. Okay, but what do you want from me, Ed? I'm confused. Oh, pole here. Oh, okay, this is a broken pole. It's fairly solid. I don't think I'm gonna be able to pull it out. Loose bar. There we go. Take that one. Okay, that might come in handy. Okay. Bam. There we go. Okay, let's go into the creepy dark subway. Uh. Hey. <laughs> hey. No. Maybe he'll have to be. Maybe he'll sober up by the time help arrives. Here goes nothing. Okay. Well, I guess what's what's next? Oh. Okay. Um. What is ne what's next on the time? That's seven, seven to five. Here, this one, and then that's next. What? You're not Ed. He, he's coming. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Uh. Okay, let's go to the windows. Okay, get in the chest. Of course, there's a freaking. No, I don't. Oh my god. Okay. Um, written it down somewhere. Pictures? Under the bed. Girl, you need to get away right now. There is an evil stomping man coming. Wait. I didn't lock the door. Oh shoot. Okay. <gasps> mm. What are you, sir? Um. Okay, yep, yeah, just. Um. Okay. <laughs> um. Okay. Lock that door. Lock it. Okay. Let's see. Um Senior Bear. Yeah, okay, Senior Bear, he can help. I remember something. What do you what, what, what do you remember? The bear's key? There. 
All done. Now you have the key to my treasure. Keep okay. it safe, okay? We gotta torch the bear. We have to get the info. It's gonna break in. We gotta hurry. I know. What do you think I'm doing? Get in there, senior bear. Have the key to keep it safe, okay? What? Uh, uh, there's some writing on his tack. What is it? One six five. Okay. Ew, did he just wink at me? What the? Oh, that was him. He just got in, didn't he? Okay, come on. One. Six, five, open. What? That was it. I just checked. Next. What was it? One. Th I did that. I did one six five, didn't I? Uh, is it backwards? Five six. One. Girl, you cry. Been real. Is it five nine one? I think it's five nine. Okay, I got this. It's five nine one. Damn. Get in there. Yeah, hurry up. That door is not holding. It's my treasure. What is it? I remember. Girl, just get it. Uncle JD's gift. Para ti. Wow, it's like a. <laughs> not quite. If there's one in this jar, it's 360. It's not a lot, but uh -huh. if you save it. Uncle Harvey, don't go. I'm not going anywhere in the moment. What is Hazel's gonna help me with? What? Okay. What was I supposed to do with Hazel's? <laughs> what kind of nonsense is that? Uncle Harvey. You are so pointless. <sighs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get back to this. Yep, he's coming. Okay, lock the door. Okay, get the senior bear. Inventory. Yeah, on his tag. Oh, do I even do, do this again? Probably not. Don't wink at me, freak. Five nine one. Okay. Nine, nine one. Yep, yeah, I know. You're oh, distracting me. You're a child. Okay. Inventory. Yep, the pesos. Uh, it's a jar full of coins. It's really heavy. Okay, put that there. What? What do you want to do with this? It's a jar full of coins. It's really heavy. Um. Open the window. Okay. Pictures. Okay, get under the bed. Okay, get out of the bed, girl. Okay. Um. Oh, you know what? I know what to do. I know what to do. Get out of here. Okay. You're gonna you're gonna put the treasure in there. Just what decorative light? I saw that. Where's the decorative light? Oh my God. What do you want from me? Um, I lost it. Back on the bed. 
because that's the only thing. Like left. Oh, a vid cut. Okay, here we go. You unscrew it with the cords. Okay, take the peso, unlock the vents. Get out of here. The monster's here. Come on. No, go, go, go. Yeah, go in. Why are you running away from me? There you go. Goodness. Okay, well, shoot. It's dramatic. <laughs> okay, 7.05 a.m. Dawn in Aventine City. Uh-huh. The sun's beams glide between the buildings like a man's strong fingers through a dame's hair. The sight made me realize just how long I've been out here. Some low-level cat burglar caught breaking into the computer chip factory uptown had named this post office as a contact point for his buyer. Normally, I'd say this wasn't the kind of lead that warranted an all-night stakeout, but the chief's dogged insistence that I drop this case pretty much guaranteed I was going to follow it through. Why did she want me off this case so bad? Could the chief have some connection to this criminal organization? I had a lot of questions, and my gut was telling me exactly two things. One, that I was hungry. And two, that it was two. Reggie's turn to go get some donuts. Uh, no. I got us those sandwiches a couple hours ago, remember? Give yeah, but donuts, you didn't Reggie. get the donuts. So, how did you get the chief to sign off on this stakeout? Oh, right. About that. If anyone asks, we were patrolling the neighborhood around the arson all night. I'm not gonna get reprimanded for this, am I? Relax, Reg. Yeah, Reg. Sir! Douche. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh oh, shady character going into the post office. What are you doing? That guy came from the alley. We don't have visibility down there. Which means when he leaves, we're gonna lose him. I've got to get us a better line of sight. But who is he? How are you gonna do that without them seeing you? I don't know. I'll grow some eyes in the back of my head. This is against regulations. Tell him, Reg. I mean, just kidding. You're out of the military now, Reg. This is police work. Sometimes you gotta pick which orders you're gonna follow. I and other times, don't you gotta make your own orders. Detective Bennett. Going radio silent. Be careful. Bennett, you're kind of dumb. Okay. Well, I guess I'll call that an episode for now. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video.